Manipulation is the act of influencing someone's thoughts, feelings, or actions in a dishonest or unfair way. Manipulators often use deception, flattery, guilt, fear, or other tactics to get what they want from others. Manipulation can have negative effects on your mental and emotional health, as well as your relationships and self-esteem. The Spartans were a warrior society in ancient Greece that reached the height of its power after defeating rival city-state Athens in the Peloponnesian War, 431-404 BC. Spartan culture was centered on loyalty to the state and military service. Spartan boys entered a rigorous state-sponsored education, military training, and socialization program. Known as the Agoge, the system emphasized duty, discipline, and endurance. The Spartans were also known for their wisdom and courage in dealing with manipulation. They valued honesty, integrity, and self-control above all else. They did not tolerate lies, cheating, or cowardice from anyone. They faced their enemies with bravery and honor, even when outnumbered or outmatched. In this video, I will explain how you can apply some of the Spartan principles to protect yourself against manipulation in your life. Here are five habits that will help you resist manipulation. Chapter 1. Be aware of your surroundings. The first habit is to be aware of your surroundings and who you are dealing with. Do not trust anyone blindly or let anyone take advantage of you. Be alert and cautious of any signs of deception or ulterior motives from others. One way to do this is to ask questions and seek clarification whenever something seems suspicious or unclear. For example, if someone offers you a deal that sounds too good to be true, ask them how they came up with it and what are the terms and conditions. If someone tries to pressure you into making a decision quickly or without thinking it through, ask them for more time or information. Another way to do this is to observe how others behave and communicate with you. Look for inconsistencies between their words and actions, or between what they say they are and what they really are. For example, if someone compliments you excessively but also criticizes you behind your back, they may be trying to manipulate you by making you feel good about yourself but also insecure about your flaws. Chapter 2. Trust your intuition. The second habit is to trust your intuition and listen to your inner voice. Do not let others influence your feelings or opinions without questioning them first. Be confident in yourself and your own judgment. One way to do this is to pay attention to how you feel when someone tries to manipulate you or when something seems wrong. Do not ignore or suppress any negative emotions that arise from such situations. Instead, acknowledge them and try to understand why they are there. Another way to do this is to seek feedback from others who know you well and who have your best interests at heart. Ask them for their honest opinions on whether someone is trying to manipulate you or not. Listen to their advice and follow their guidance. Chapter 3. Set Boundaries The third habit is to set boundaries with others who try to manipulate you or who disrespect your rights and values. Do not let anyone cross your limits or violate your dignity without consequences. One way to do this is to communicate clearly what you expect from others and what you are willing or unwilling to do for them. Be assertive but polite in expressing your needs and preferences. Another way to do this is to enforce your boundaries and stand up for yourself when someone tries to manipulate you or overstep your limits. Do not let anyone bully, intimidate, or guilt trip you into doing something you do not want to do or giving up something you value. Be firm but respectful in saying no or rejecting their requests. A Spartan warrior would not tolerate any manipulation or disrespect from anyone. They would defend their honor and freedom with courage and strength. They would also respect the boundaries of others and expect the same in return. As the Spartan philosopher Epictetus said, and no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Chapter 4. Be Self-Reliant The fourth habit is to be self-reliant and independent in your thoughts and actions. Do not depend on others for your happiness, security, or validation. Be responsible for your own choices and consequences. One way to do this is to develop your skills and knowledge and pursue your goals and passions. Do not let others dictate what you should do or how you should live your life. Follow your own path and make your own decisions. Another way to do this is to cultivate your self-esteem and confidence and value yourself for who you are. Do not let others define your worth or judge your abilities. Recognize your strengths and weaknesses and work on improving yourself. A Spartan warrior would not rely on anyone else for their survival or success. They would train hard and learn from their experiences. They would also have a strong sense of self and pride in their achievements. As the Spartan King Leonidas said, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Chapter 5. Be loyal to your allies. The fifth habit is to be loyal to your allies and friends who support you and respect you. Do not let anyone manipulate you into betraying or hurting them. Be grateful for their help and friendship. 
One way to do this is to show your appreciation and gratitude to your allies and friends and reciprocate their kindness and generosity. Do not take them for granted or neglect them. Express your feelings and thoughts and listen to theirs. Another way to do this is to protect and defend your allies and friends from any harm or threat. Do not let anyone harm or slander them. Stand by their side and fight for them. A Spartan warrior would not betray or abandon their comrades or allies. They would form strong bonds and trust with them. They would also sacrifice their lives for them if necessary. As the Spartan poet Tertius said, a he who dies in the front line of battle, glorious is his fate. I appreciate you if you have made it this far. Leave a comment if you have learned something new or have any questions. But hold on, there are still some more tips to discuss. Chapter 6, Be Adaptable to Change. The sixth habit is to be adaptable to change and flexible in your approach. Do not let anyone manipulate you into resisting or fearing change. Be open to new opportunities and challenges. One way to do this is to embrace change and see it as a chance to grow and learn. Do not cling to the past or the status quo. Seek new experiences and perspectives and expand your horizons. Another way to do this is to adjust your strategies and tactics according to the situation and the environment. Do not stick to one method or solution. Experiment and innovate and find the best way to achieve your goals. A Spartan warrior would not be afraid or reluctant to change. They would adapt to different circumstances and conditions. They would also improvise and overcome any obstacles or difficulties. As the Spartan lawgiver Lycurgus said, the most certain sign of wisdom is cheerfulness. These are some of the habits that will help you protect yourself against manipulation, based on the wisdom of the ancient Spartans. By following these habits, you will be able to resist manipulation and live a life of honor, freedom, and happiness. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Remember, the Spartans were not only warriors, but also philosophers and teachers. They had a lot to offer to the world and to us. We can learn from their principles and apply them to our lives. As the Spartan warrior said, they come back with your shield or on it.